Happy National Poetry Month. It is April 6th, and today I am going to read Sun Bear by Matthew Sapruder. Yesterday at the Oakland Zoo, I was walking alone for a moment, past the enclosure holding the sun bear, also known as Burang Madu. It looked at me without interest. It has powerful jaws and truly loves honey. It sleeps in a high hammock. Its claws look made out of wood. And if it dreams at all, it is of Malaysia. Home of its enemy, the clouded leopard, a gorgeous arboreal hunting and eating machine whose coat resembles a python. Now it is night and the zoo is closed. Some animals are sleeping. The nocturnals moving in their cages, getting ready to hunt nothing. I don't know why, but I feel sure something has woken the sun bear. It is awake in the dark. Maybe it is my spirit animal. I'm reading about the early snow that has fallen on the northeast, all the power shutting down, the weather going insane. The animals cannot help us. They go on moving without love, though we look into their eyes and feel sure we see it there. And maybe we are right. Nothing can replace animal love, not even complicated human love. We sometimes choose to allow ourselves to be chosen by, despite what everyone knows the problem is. In order to love anything but an animal, you cannot allow yourself to believe in those things that are, if we don't stop them, going to destroy us.